help you remember that whenever you put your XCPs together, you're gonna to go to the bar, okay? So you're gonna to go to the XCP bar, all right? So the B for, for the word bar is bite block, okay? The A is for arm, okay? It also is can be called a rod, okay? And the R is for ring, okay? So if you start with your bite block, you go to your arm and you go to your ring, you're never gonna go wrong. So what you've learned so far, what um, type of um, radiographs can I take with the yellow XCP? Posterior. Posterior, very nice. good. Okay, so you're gonna first pick up your bite block. Okay, you're gonna find on your bite block where the little holes are on the side. Okay, you're gonna place the prongs and no notice how everything's color coded. Okay, there's yellow prongs, yellow bite block, okay, and yellow ring. You can't go wrong if you make sure that you stay within your color coordination, okay? Now there are some offices, however, that I've worked in where all these are all one color. So please know your shapes, okay? So you have your arm, you're gonna pick up your bite block, you're gonna pick up your arm, you're gonna put your prongs inside the holes on the side, okay? And then you are going to set this up so that you can see the a bite block through the hole. Okay, you can see the bite block through the hole. All right, now the video is gonna go in and the, the, the instructor has a type of dot and, and is showing you how to maneuver this around the patient's mouth. Um, and one cute little thing is that she calls this the chicken wing. Okay, the chicken wing always wants to be on the outside of the patient's mouth. All right, so this would be for the lower right side and then I would flip it up and do the upper left side. So this only gets taken apart once. Okay, but you'll understand that more. Maybe we can put up a type of dot, I mean, a Dexter, and we can show you what that means. Okay, so now we're going to go to our anterior. What is this? Bite block. Okay, what is this? The arm. Very good. And what is this? The ring. Okay, so the reason why we have tape here, by the way, if you're wondering why we have tape, is because our PSPs fall out. Our PSPs are much thinner than film. When you get an opportunity, I want you to feel the thickness. So when we put the A in the slot, they were always falling out on us, okay? So Miss D'Angelo taped it so she added some thickness so that our PSPs could stay in and not fall out of the slot, okay? Um, and then there's our film. So, yep, so there's our bar and our arm. So we're gonna pick up our arm. We're going to, again, put the blue prongs into the holes on the side of the bite block. We're gonna hold it up like this, and now it looks like a director's chair, okay? It looks like a little chair, it doesn't, a little person's gonna sit there and be on a boom that's gonna take them around and videotape a, a movie. And then we put the, for some reason, I was, there we go, okay? And you can see that the beam would go straight here, okay? Anterior, right? Am I right, is this anterior? Yes, okay. And now your bite wing, okay? And what is this? Ring. Okay, this? Arm. Arm. Bite block, okay? So when we take um, po anterior and posterior radiographs in a full mouth series, these radiographs are called periapicals, okay? Peri meaning around, apical meaning the apex of the tooth. So when you take a look at our full mouth series, you're gonna see the whole tooth in the film okay, whether it's anterior or posterior. When we take bite wing radiographs, we only get a picture of the teeth biting together. So all we get is crowns. We're not gonna get any apexes, okay? And it's gonna be the maxillary and mandibular arch biting together at the same time within that film, okay? These are just going to be the teeth that are going to be imaged where you're setting that bite block. So either our molars or premolars on max or man, left or right. So, if we are going to put this together now, the common mistake here is that this gets flipped around this way towards me. And it looks like this, but we could never get this in the patient's mouth and have them bite down on that. So we can flip it around. And in the video, it's really cute. She calls that a whale's tail, okay? And it looks like a little whale's tail and it's away from us. And then this will go in here like this and the black will go towards the beam, okay? All right, you can stop.